Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 4 on Catalan Automation Tool Concepts. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we perform scriptless automation or how can we automate by using Catalan in manual mode. So, as you all know, I have already published uh, my lesson 3 where I have explained you about how can you record and replay and then how can you edit the recorded steps, right? All these concepts. So in this session, I'm going to teach you how can we perform scriptless automation. Okay. So please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Thank you. Okay. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you uh, what is scriptless or manual mode in Catalan. And also I'm going to teach you how to create test in scriptless or manual mode. And also I'm going to teach you how to edit and update the test and how can you proceed on test failure. Basically, whenever your test is fail, you failed, then how can we proceed with your test automation and test execution? Okay, so let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform scriptless automation or how can you automate a test case by using manual mode in Catalan Studio. Okay. Okay, so this is my Catalan Studio. I have already explained you how can we install Catalan Studio in my previous sessions. Please do visit those sessions before you watch this particular lesson. Okay, so I have installed a very latest version 8.2.5 Catalan Studio. You can see the version here. Okay, so let's create a new test case. How to, we, how to create a new test case? As I explained you in earlier session, right click on test case module. Click on test case. Let me name this as TC02 scriptless mode. Okay. Click OK. So as soon as you create a test case, it's going to open your test case wizard. Okay. This is your manual test case wizard. And if you see at the bottom here, so at the bottom of this wizard, you have a different modes. You have manual mode and script mode. So right now we are not doing script mode. We are going to perform manual mode. Correct. So to start a manual mode test case automation, first you need to add your objects of your application. So what is my application? So the same application that we used in earlier session, I'm going to use the same application. Okay. This is my application. So I want to first add all these objects to login and then validate the login functionality, right? So for that, what we need to do? So if you see here on the top ribbon, you have earlier, in earlier session, we have used this option, record web, correct? So this time, there is another new option in the latest version of 8, right? In um, Catalan 8. So earlier, we don't have this pi web. Okay, so recently, I mean, recently means in the latest versions, they introduced a spy web. So you need to click on this spy web. As soon as you click on spy web, it's going to ask you to enter the URL or the application from which you want to capture the objects. So I'm going to provide the URL. And here it will ask you to provide. So basically select the corresponding browser. So I want to select the browser as Chrome and then as soon as you click on start, what it is going to do, it's going to open the application here. Okay. So I'm going to put the application at the left side so that you can see all the objects and everything here. Okay. So now I want to capture the full name object. I want to capture the password edit, edit box. I want to capture the login button in this page right to capture the objects all you need to do is just point your cursor here and you need to use alt tilt 
So as soon as you click Alt and Tilt, it's gonna add the object here. So let me just make sure that you understand, okay? You need to use Alt plus this symbol, okay? Tilt symbol, okay? So now let me just point my cursor on password edit box. Press Alt plus Tilt. If you see, this is added. You can see right side uh, window, okay? So let me add uh, the uh, login button, Alt, Tilt. See, now login button is added. That's it, right? So just let me just log in here. So because I want to capture other objects also in the login page. So as soon as I click on login, see if you see, I want to capture this validation. I want to validation as soon as I log in, whether text, this text is eligible, I mean, exist or not. For that, Alt, Tilt. If you see that header is header element is being captured in object repository and then now I want to um, I think that's it I think yeah that's what the small test we are going to perform okay or you can just click on logout so once it is done uh, probably I want to capture this logout also all tilt okay so let's see see logout is done it's captured and then close the browser okay so now we have completed adding the objects to the object repository so as soon as you add the objects to the object repository there is an option called save here okay click on save so as soon as you click on save it's going to ask you do you want to add these objects to the same existing folder or do you want to create a new so i want to create a new folder click on new folder just name this as tc02 manual and then click OK. Now, see the new folder is selected and then click OK. So as soon as you click OK, if you see here, a new structure has been added in the under object. See under test case, you have this new test case. Under object repository, we have created a new folder called TC02 manual, right? Under this folder, all the objects, whatever we added has been stored. Okay, that's done. So, and also, if you see, there is a, okay, let me just make sure that again, copy this. Let me show you another option here, okay? Copy this. Let's go to Chrome. And then, let's enter your URL, okay? So, I want to show here, if you see, let's assume this is my full name, right? As soon as I click on that object, it's going to show you all the element properties that it has stored, element locators. And the primary locator is this. And it also has another locators. So all these locators is going to use for the self-healing purpose. Uh, the self-healing, auto-healing, artificial intelligence. I have explained you this uh, during my test project automation tool concepts, okay? So now, if I want to highlight, so what is this object? I want to understand what is this object in the web page. I can just click on verify and highlight. So as soon as you click on verify and highlight, it's going to highlight, not open it. Okay, let me just make sure again. Okay, let me do one thing. Okay, let's start from here. Okay, let's start from here. And then let's highlight this, verify and highlight. We see it is highlighting the first name and then let's verify and the password, verify and highlight. See it's highlighting the password and then highlight your button, login button, right? You understand, right? So you can basically highlight the objects also on the application so that you can avoid some confusion. So our object uh, saving is done. Now you can directly close this, done. So now we have added all our object uh, objects in the object repository. Now let's go back to our test case. So now we need to add our steps manually, but we need not to use script. For that, you should be in the manual mode. If you see here, the tab, you need to click this manual mode tab. Okay, this one. And here, you need to use add button. Because I'm automating web UI, I'm going to select web UI keyword. So if you see, as soon as you add the keyword, you will, you're going to get the 
number of keywords here okay i want to use a keyword called open browser you just need to type open browser double click i'm opening the browser now because i don't while opening the browser i don't have the object so you need to provide the url here okay so for that i'm going to provide the url click okay and here i want to add another now i want to add the next step to enter the username so let me do this time instead of uh, using this uh, method let me use another method okay if you see here there is a keyword browser you need to click on keyword browser expand built in keywords expand web ui i want to use a text i want to set the text here okay i want to use this drag this keyword and drop into your second step see now i want to set the text i want to set text where i want to set text on the object which object double click here see this is my object repository expand this i want to set the text in the full name first right click okay and what is the name you want to set i want to set the name as ravikant okay click okay now again i want to add another step so this time let me use this again now here set text so here here instead of uh, double clicking on here i can use another method what expand this i want to set the uh, text in password field right i can drag and drop here simply that's it and then what password do i need to set i want to set the password as 12345 click okay and then now i want to click on login right for that again add a new step click keyword where do you want to click i want to click on login button button login click okay and then i want to verify the element header right we added a header for that again add web keyword verify text i want to verify the text so verify text present i want to verify whether the text present or not double click and what is the element double click here oh sorry so what is the text i want to verify okay let me just drag this element here let me do one thing okay verify let me do one thing okay let me select verify element present okay verify element verify element present okay so what is the element this is the element i want to verify that's it dragged and dropped here that's it and then i need to click on login again so add again here add web ui click where i want to click on log out as soon as you log in i'm verifying the header and then i'm click on log out that's it now i want to close the browser for that again add another step close browser that's it so now we have added all the steps here so now let's execute this test case and see how it's going to run okay execute in chrome browser okay so it started execution it should open your chrome browser yeah scriptless mode it started starting chrome driver it's opened your chrome and then it should enter the ravikant it should enter password login it verified log out and closed that's it that means if you see here all my test steps are passed if you see i don't have any single failed test cases all passed logged in set text verify the element present 
click on the logout and close the browser it's done so now now you understand how to how easy it is to basically automate your test case without scripting right now so what if let's assume i want to a uh, fail this condition let me do one thing let me fail something okay mm. let me fail this step okay let me fail this step for that i want to make sure that i want to just instead of this i want to uh, select uh, this one let's say once i log in i want to verify if this is present or not okay i want to uh, fail this step okay so if i run this again let me run this what happens we'll see i just changed the object where the object will not be present first of all okay so as soon as i log in i am trying to verify whether full name text is present or not so which is not going to present and then let's say what happens to the script okay so it's opened your browser and entered the first name entered the password now oh okay okay so basically it has a full name also okay let me do one thing okay i'll do one thing okay so let's let's let me tell you one thing okay if for example if if this this test fails let's assume if this test fails what happens it's going to fail the step here and then immediately it's going to fail rest of all the steps because why because if you go to project and settings and then expand test design go to test design stop on failure that means one step is failed then we are going to stop all the other steps and then we are going to mark it as failure to avoid that if you select this continue on failure and apply and close even though the step fails it's going to continue execution of the further steps if the further steps are passed it's going to pass right earlier it used it's going to fail all the next steps all of the next steps afterwards right so once this step is failed so rest of the steps also going to fail but now we changed the uh, settings to make sure that continue your execution on failure so now it's going to continue the rest of the execution but there is another option if you go to project and settings if i want to make that particular step as optional sorry optional means what it's going to do it runs even though the test case is failed it's not going to show the step as failed because we are marking it as optional so instead of setting that optional at this at project level i don't want to do this i want to continue on failure but let's say this particular test case is an optional test case or optional validation even though this test case fails that's not a problem then what what you need to do right click on this step and then change failure handling and mark it as optional then what happens even though this test case if you see this is marked as optional right even though this test case is failed it's going to it's not going to show you in the report as fail so this is not a report basically it's just we are viewing your log viewers right these are all the log viewer this is your log viewer actual reporting that ever available here but the reporting part i'm going to cover in the next sessions okay so hope you all understand the concepts of scriptless automation or how can we automate by using manual mode it's really very important concept guys uh, if you have any questions please provide your comments in the comment box i'm going to reply to your comments please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you